Kara, thank you so much for catching up with me today. It's awesome to have just a casual chat with young talent in the media industry. And if anything, the point of this uh, call today is to really give people some insight on what is what do careers in the media industry look like. So Farah, tell us, tell me about what do you do on a daily basis? Thank you for having me. Um, I'm a senior exec uh, in Omnicom Media Group. Uh, I do e-commerce planning. And uh, on my day-to-day tasks, I would uh, liaise with the clients, understand their growth and their ambition, and then grow their online business within the retailers in the MENA industry. So Farah, you are in e-commerce, so it tells me you must love shopping. But outside of shopping, what do you love about your day? What do you enjoy doing on a daily basis? So e-commerce is growing in the markets and around the world. And this is because of COVID. So consumer behavior shifted from shopping offline actually to shopping online, which is a great uh, leverage for us within the group and uh, within the clients. Therefore, now it's more awareness of the importance of having these campaigns. Uh, So now I work on a daily basis with the client, trying to understand their ambition and their goals and where they are trying to reach within the market and then uh, create and launch a campaign and optimize them for a result uh, driven, um, for a driven result campaign. And then at the end of the day, I would watch the trends and the the competition closely and seeing uh, how we can leverage that within the, the group. It sounds like there's a lot of data and analytics uh, if you're optimizing and looking at campaign performance to see how these connect with your clients' objectives. What are some of the challenges that you're faced with uh, on a day-to-day basis? Correct. So for uh, our work, data is very important for us. So we collect data from all of the retailers and trying to analyze their performance and all. Other than that, we also have post campaign analysis that we also request the data from and make our recommendations and learnings for for the next uh, campaigns and projects. So overall, the challenges would be collecting data, which is a bit hard to collect it as it's the first party um, first party collection. And now it's a cookie-less word. Uh, other than that, in an, within an agency, we get a lot of ad hoc requests, such as you'd be working on a on a day for launching a campaign and then the client would ring and say, for example, I need this report or XYZ uh, analysis or XYZ um, request. So therefore, uh, planning and managing your day and your tasks and your timeline within that is very important and one of the challenges that would face the digital uh, marketers within the industry. Yes. And I mean, given there's all of this data and measurements and analytics, I'm sure there's a lot of uh, courses that you need to take. If you have to give anyone advice in the industry, what type of courses and certifications would you recommend that they do? So Amazon is a priority retailer and there are a lot of courses from there that you can uh, enroll and have. So they're mainly for that. uh, the, the viewers can enroll to. Other than that, they have to be very passionate about learning and understanding data and consumer behavior. So overall, it's having passion first and interest and then going for the courses that they, they should be enrolling in for e-commerce. Farah, thank you. It's been awesome chatting to you and I look forward to seeing you grow in the industry. Thank you so much for having me. I hope you like this, uh, uh, my information. And then I wish the best of luck for all of the viewers that are watching and trying to get into the digital industry.